Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with um, a haul, not unboxing, kind of just a haul, because these are all from local stores, so <laughs> I haven't done one in a while, and these have been just sitting here building up for like the last month and a half at least. So, um, yeah, let me show you this one. Um, oh, uh, there's a couple things in here from Walmart I didn't even realize I had. So some extra earring hoops that I got from Walmart. Um, I'm actually not sharing where I got this bit, group of stuff because it's uh, the same place that I use to buy um, stuff to sell in my group. So I got these celestial beads. Aren't those really cool? So there's a sun on one side and a moon on another. And honestly, these have been in my, uh, the bag for a month. So I kind of forgot everything that I got from this place. <laughs> So we'll kind of see together. If you've been watching my channel lately, you know that I took a huge break for like eight days and then um, I'm, I just haven't had time. So that's kind of why I just need time to go through all my stuff. Um, they have really cool crystals. So I got this set. It's like pink and no, it's red and orange and white. And then I got these orange and green or tangerine yellow and green it's like craft macaroni and cheese yellow and then I got some really cool like stop sign shapes I just love I love them I love that it's like a whole bunch of different colors on the same strand um I got a bunch of bales like bigger bales because a lot of the pendants I have are larger and I don't really use small bales that much so I got them in gold um, I got them in silver I got them in like an antique gold or brass color and I got them in, well, this is, this is bronze. So that other one's antique gold. So these are antique brass. And I got them in a different, antique brass, but a different like shape. So those are perfect for a lot of the bales that I bought, or I'm sorry, a lot of the pendants that I buy, but also pendants that I make with polymer clay. And then we have some fishies. Aren't those stinking cute? They're charms. Look at them. I love how um, textured they are, and they're double-sided. Um, strand of crystals. I love these crystals. I actually saw these um, in one of my favorite Jesse B James bead strands this year, so I was super happy to find like a strand of just these. Um, oh, this came from Walmart. Had some like that oil slick or vitriol chain. I was like, oh, I have to grab that. I don't remember how much it was. Maybe like two or three dollars thought it was pretty cool um, and then we have some froggies I actually sold some of these in my group last month or whenever my I think it was June my uh, sale was so these have been sitting in my room since June but aren't those super cute little frogs And then I have some Monsteras. I'll probably end up putting these either in a kit or just selling some of them because I uh, probably won't need all of these. I love Monstera leaves. So pretty. Um, some sage crystals and then like just a random purple one at the end. <laughs> And a random champagne one at the other end. So pretty. Um, I have these medallion beads. Those were really cool. They're very hefty. Only four in the pack. Um, ah, I love these. They're faceted um, shell, black lip shell. These aren't the uh, as nice as the ones that I got from Beauty and the Bead Shop, but they are still beautiful. It always surprises me when I find faceted shell. Um, another strand of these crystals, but like a, a more lemony yellow and some teal. Um, a glass pendant. 
and orange. I actually sold, I think, one or two of these in my last sale, but I kept one for myself because I really liked how it looked. Um, this orange guy, so much fun, so yummy. I love all that gold. This orange one, uh, I don't know why I kept both of them now. Well, maybe because they're different shapes, but I love them. I don't know that I'll need two necklaces made out of these, but we'll see. Um, some donuts. I sold most of these in my sale, but I think I kept this one because it was um, imperfect. And I wanted to keep one of these. Actually, I think this one, this, the hole didn't go all the way through or something, so I kept it, but it's pretty cool. Um, this might have just been thrown in there by mistake. <laughs> uh, I have some ceramic beads that I really like. I love ceramic. These are beachy to me. Or they kind of look like mushrooms a little bit. Um, and then I sold some of these in my sale, but I, I kept a strand for myself because I just love them so much. These are also ceramic. And um, oh, I got the fishies in gold. love those just so cute they're just so cute and then I got these lotus flowers I ended up selling a bunch in my sale too um, but I kept some of the imperfect ones like if you could see it's a little chipped at the top but I wouldn't be able to tell that in my designs but I would never want to sell somebody a bead that's not perfect unless I told them beforehand but I just love them they're like a milky cornflower blue Um, and then some more uh, bales, but these are leaves. And then some more monsteras, but these are um, antique fronds. Really pretty. And then last but not least, I sold some of these in my um, sale too, but I kept a couple strands for myself. They're like birthday cake beads. They're lamp work. I love them. Um, I also sold, sold matching um, pendants, but I, I just, I had to keep some of these because they're amazing. So yeah, that was that first uh, store. Uh, let me clean, clean this up and I'll move on to the next one. Okay, so the next store was Rain Charmer Beads, and I hadn't been there before. Um, Julie found it, and we're like, oh, well, let's pop over there, see what they had. So they were mostly like seed bead and bead weaving stuff, but they did have some, some uh, like a very small selection of um, gemstones, some, and then like a big bin with like clearance beads that were um, priced accordingly. So um, like this, let me get this out of the way. So this was one of the like, bins that you could dive into and this baggie was 90 cents so these look vintage i don't know if they are but they're acrylic and they actually look like they're carved and dyed bone but they're acrylic and i just thought they were so cool look at that i haven't seen anything like that before then um they had a bunch of these packs in there um uh been and I don't I don't know what they are they're very they're kind of heavy I don't know if they're composite they're composite of some sort so I know there's some resin in there maybe it's stone and composite but um, yeah she ended up I think this one bead was 25 cents but then this one with four beads was 85 so I, she ended up I think just charging me 85 cents for everything so very sweet people in that store too and they're very helpful and they they um there were some people in there beading like making their own designs and they were really sweet too so we got to see a bunch of really cool stuff and they have classes and everything so check it out if you're in the area and then the same type of beads but in rounds i think these are like 14 16 millimeter maybe just thought they were pretty cool very bright very fun next um this was in the the bins at the front of the store it's, it was two dollars but it looks like some type of resin it's old it's probably um indonesian or uh, afghan or something like that afghani i thought it was really pretty it goes with a lot of the stuff i have 
Um, and then we have, uh, I don't remember how much these were, $2. Again, very old. I think they're bone with some stone inlay. Very old. You can tell, like, looking at them, they're old, old, old. So, thought those were really pretty right up my alley. Then they had um, some buttons. This was 50 cents. They're glass buttons. thought they were really pretty. They're, like, stunning. Look at that color. I don't know if they're check, but they kind of look like they are. So, uh, 50 cents. Couldn't find more. Otherwise, I would have gra grabbed them. And then um, the last thing out of the bins that I got were these large pearls. They're dollar fifty. I can't tell. I think these are glass, but I still thought they were really cool. They're huge. They're pretty hefty too. And then um, I got a couple different things. So I got these um, frames. They're like bead frames. I'm not going to open them because they'll be everywhere. But they have three holes, and they're designed to go around these navettes. Which, they're more bead weaving, but I'm going to try and do something with them. Um, Julie ended up making some beads, uh, like beaded beads, out of these. So I want to learn how to do those. And then I just thought the gold, they had so many different colors of both of these that I just wanted to try one, because they were kind of expensive. They're seventy fifty dollars and two fifty, dollars And then, uh, yeah, I thought they were really cool. And then last but not least, I got this little thing of seed beads and they're red or blue with red on the inside. So uh, sapphire hyacinth lined is what they call them. They're so pretty. So that was Rain Charmer beads. Um, then I have two different uh, um, trips to Bead World on different weeks like completely different weeks. So the first one, here's Bead World's information. This one is from, they're both from Phoenix. Uh, I'm sorry, they're both from the Scottsdale location, but I go to both. And this one, I got these Picasso seed beads. These are um, Mayuki size six seed beads, Picasso cobalt. So it's a cobalt with the Picasso finish. I thought that was so cool. <coughs> Then I got these, which are size six check seed beads, travertine uh, parquet. <clears throat> They're also like, a, some of them have a Picasso on them. And then um, two more things that day. These were in their sales section. So anything, they have like a sales section. So there's a green or red dot, I think it's 50% off. So these were uh, 4 25 each and they are sodalite but they're large hole beads so I want to use those with leather so very cool I love those very pretty and then the, the last time I went to um, bead world again it was Scottsdale you guys have seen me use these in two videos now and I wish I would have gotten the smaller size so the next time I go I'm gonna also get the seller's smaller size but I love this color size 6 Mayuki seed beads in light mint opal gilt uh i don't know what the L D is but um they were 335 and sometimes they have sales i think this week where they were 30 percent off but i not the week that i went and got those and then i got these they're uh, matsuno seed beads neon matte mix um in my um inklet video you saw me use these but not the matte version so i just got this one and then there, this this week the crystals were on sale, which I shouldn't have bought any crystals because I could have enough crystals to to drown somebody with. Um, but I got these two. This was like a peachy gold, and then like a pinky uh, luster. Maybe they're just so pretty. So they were two dollars. And then last but not least from this day, I hadn't seen these there before. They were like down below. They're lava, but they are they kind of look like coral, like not like coral, but like spongy corally things to me. Um, but I just thought they were really cool. These were 40% off of 1150 because they give a coupon every week. So I just thought these were really neat. They were out of the way. They look beachy to me and I just thought they were 
the texture was amazing. So that was Bead World. And then I have one more um, uh, set of stuff from Elle's. I'll be right back. So Elle's I went to this weekend and I kind of told you guys about this in another video really quickly, but they have a lot of those uh, animal fetish necklace, uh, necklaces. And this one they had was bone. Oh, it's backwards. Um, a lot of them are just uh, acrylic, but I really like this one. So I got it. There's a horse one that I want that's acrylic and it's like turquoise color. I'm going to go back and get that next time. But I wanted a time, but I just thought it was so cool. And I could take this apart eventually, but for now I'm just going to wear it like this because it's cute enough. Um, but if I ever want to make something with a bigger, you know, this is just the focal. I will. And these are shell in between here. So, or maybe they're horn. I think they're actually horn now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm not sure. And it's made in the Philippines. So thought that was really cute. Um, next I got some multicolor hearts. Last time they didn't have these in multicolor, so I grabbed one strand of them. They only have had these in the turquoise white and red before, so I really wanted some that had some green, yellow, and pink. Um, let's see here. I got two strands of these because I hadn't seen this shape before. I just thought they were so cool. And then each strand was so wildly different from the other that I had to get them. So like this one is the one that I originally picked up because it had all the white spots in it and I really liked it. It's magnesite and it's like high quality magnesite. They're very polished, but isn't that like a really cool shape? Um, and then this is the second strand, but this one doesn't have any white in it. And I just like, okay, well I can make a, a really unusual necklace with these or two different projects that look completely different because the beads are different. So I really like those. And then I got <laughs> the, the, one of the employees told me this is an armadillo. So I got this magnesite and it's super cute. Oh, I just love it. They have a lot of uh, things that look like this, but he's big and I really liked him. Um, and then last but not least, I got these pearls. And they're like a pennant shape. I just thought they were so cool. Obviously they're cultured freshwater pearls, but I just, I love them. I love them. So anyway, I know that was a pretty long video. Let me know what you liked the most. I think out of everything I just showed you, like these two are my favorite combined with this strand probably big surprise, right? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think. What would you make with some of these? What was your favorite? And then um, please like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. So funny. <laughs> I was just moving my hand on my leg, and Goldie pops out of nowhere <laughs> to get me to rub her tummy, and now she's mad I busted out the camera. <laughs> she got a bath today. She's nice and fluffy. Yeah, she's nice and fluffy. Now she's going to hide. Bye, Goldie.